All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more FIFA 23. Today, we are going to continue on the average in career mode, of course, and we're playing Arsenal away. And then we actually do have an FA Cup game. So the FA Cup game has finally showed up on my calendar. We're playing Port Vale away from home before... Uh, who do we play after that? I think it, it was Villa. Yes, we have Villa away. So we have three away games in a row right now. What? Three away games in a row before we play Crystal Palace at home. That's kind of insane. That's kind of insane, man. Why am I playing so many away games? Look at this. Look at this. Chelsea away. Brentford away. Leicester away. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> what? Like, I, I feel like I've played an even amount of both so far. Why would I just randomly be playing way more away games now until the end of the season? All right. Anyway, we're playing Arsenal. We're down now to ninth in the league. But a win here would put us back into seventh. So a win here would be massive. It would put us back into the hunt for Europe. And it would put us a point behind Arsenal and in the hunt for the top four as well. So let's play the match. I'll leave it on world class for now. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Gordon's a little bit tired. Other than that, I think we can play a similar team. I'm going to start Godfrey. Uh, I'm going to give him a start because Tarkovsky's a little bit tired. I'm going to start Cody. I'm going to I'm going to go with the 4-3-3 attack against Arsenal. Um, this is kind of risky, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to start. I'm going to drop Ghana for this match just because he needs a little bit of a rest. He hasn't been resting at all and we're gonna put kudus into the cam role and it will be in the center mid role and that's the team we're gonna go with here against arsenal let's do it baby here we go also guys if you want to get 20 percent off rogue energy using my code the apex hound would be greatly appreciated check it out there's a link in the description and if you want to buy some merch you can do there's also a link in the description for that i've made a return to youtube streaming so maybe i'll do a fifa stream here on youtube as well let me know if you'd be interested in that i could do some online seasons maybe with genie or with alex if he gets fifa 23 i'm not exactly sure we'll see how it goes but thanks for the support guys let's get it let's do this thing baby Mohamed kudus we need a big win here we lost to southampton and drew at man city the draw against Man City was pretty good, actually, but uh, so we won one, drew one, or won one, lost one, and drew one in the last video, uh, which made us. Oh yes, Michael, how is that a foul, ref? Get out of here. Get out of here, referee, mate. Yes, kudos. Finds the Mari Gray. West Ham top of the league still. This is absolute madness. The Mari Gray. What a goal! Mohamed Kudus is on the score sheet. A decision to start him has been vindicated. What a goal by Kudus. Absolute beauty that is, mate. And the transfer window's open, we have to remember as well, boys. So, uh, what the hell? Why are those three players just standing there like this? <laughs> that was so weird. But what a finish from Kudus, honestly. Brilliant finish from Kudus. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Frank loves to see it as well, baby. Let's go, Mohammed. What I'm talking about, baby. What I'm talking about. Yeah, we did just have the Man City game three three days ago, by the way. That's why a lot of these Man City are... Sorry, that's why a lot of the um, players are tired. What a block, Godfrey! Comes right to Saka and then comes back to Odegaard. Bloody ping pong. That's such horse shit. That's such horse shit, man. Literally, we, I made two great... Well, a great block with Godfrey, great save by Pickford, and somehow it still manages to go into the back of the net. Like, they were just getting well, every rebound here. Look at this. Block by Godfrey, save by Pickford, and right to, right to Odegaard, who was just waiting there. Oh, that's frustrating. 1-1 one, one after 16 minutes. We took the lead early, but we give it right back to them. Jesus. And attempting the through ball. Oh, great goal. I left the fucking space there, though, for Odegaard to go through and score a double. And Arsenal are in the lead now at the Emirates. I was about to say at Highbury. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, lads. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a yeah, finish. Good play. Good play. That was just straight up good play. And it's half an hour done. And 2-1 Arsenal. Our lead has been turned on its head already. Early days, too. What a pass by Kudus to find Mudrik. Go on, Mudrik. No one up with me, really. Oh, great pass. Great pass. Kudus, yes! Kudus at the double. And Kudus makes it 2-2. 
Come on! Why does he keep switching direction? <laughs> what is he doing? I'm not even pressing anything. He's just doing that naturally. That was brilliant from Mudrick, though. Really good from Mudrick. Because he had no one up with him. He turned back. Just a great pass to Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin finds Kudus. And Kudus with a beautiful bending finish. In off the post. It's 2-2. Two, two, and it's not even half time. What a game to start the video, boys. Let's have it. Ray finds Kudus. Brilliant play. Oh, clears it. Gray over the top. Mudrick. Oh. And Turner, for some reason, is in goal for Arsenal. Oh, good save, Jordan. It was nearly a hat trick for Odegaard. But Jordan Pickford stops that just before half time. Let's make sure we clear the ball now. Oh, Jordan, you legend. Odegaard wants that hat trick, yeah? Is that meant to be Smith Rowe, by the way? Away, Dom. Well done, Jordan. That's going to be half time. It's going to be 2 2 at half time. Let's try and shut this shit down in the second half. Honestly, I'd take a point away from home against Arsenal, but... Yeah, look at that. 2.5 expected goals compared to 0 0.4. <laughs> 0 0.4. Man, I'm pretty sure both my attacks I've just scored with. Kudus has been clinical there. And he's pushing for a starting spot. Well, the only reason I haven't, like, put him straight into the starting lineup yet is I really like pass. that midfield trio of Ganage, uh, Iwobi, and Onana. I feel like it's such a good balance, you know? So it's hard to like separate that front, uh, that midfield three. Oh Jesus! Thank God he made the extra pass there. Well on Nathan. Good block. Yeah, that looks nothing like Smith Rowe. Like Jesus, some of the models look so bad. People in the crowd look better than the character models that don't have face scans. Like genuinely. Like how have you made them look that terrible? With the... Oh. Yes, Jordan. You absolute beautiful man. Great pass from Mike Galenko. That was beautiful play. Kudus just isn't going to get there. He does, though. He wins it somehow. Calvert Lewin, what a save by Turner. What a save by Turner. Oh. Good block from Cody. What a save, Jordan. How Arsenal aren't winning this game is beyond me, to be honest. Like, it's insane. Arsenal should be winning this. I think I need to switch formation, honestly. Like, because this is getting insane now at this point. Good block, Kudus. Yes, Onana! Yes! We're just playing on the counter-attack now. But now this could be a big one here. Damari Gray has loads of space in front of him. The Everton players are steaming into the box. Why? Why can't they ever cross it further back into the box? Like, I pulled my analog bo back to make sure he tried to pass or cross it further back. But he still just crossed it right on top of the keeper, man. I don't understand it. What a tackle, well, Michael. Jesus. Yes, Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin. What have I done? Oh, thank God. I thought I'd pass it right to them. It would have been three on two. We got away with it. Go on, Nathan, lad. Nathan finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin, poor through ball. Kudus well, could have got the... <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nearly... Bottled from Arsenal there. Great tackle on Nana. No way it's a free ref. There's no way it's a free ref. I refuse to believe it. I'm going to bring on Mope and I'm going to bring on McNeil uh, and Mood uh, and Timothy Way. We're just going to go for it here. Absolutely go for it. Come on. Four substitutions. Let's get it, boys. To make a personnel change at this juncture. Long way out this. Let's get it out, get it out, get it out! No way! Why does these ragdoll balls keep coming back right away to Arsenal players, man? It keeps happening. All of the second balls just come right to their players. God's sake. 3 2 Arsenal. Fuck's sake, Gabby. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken Yeah, I'm seeing the great the replay here, guys. Thanks. All right, promotion technology for you. I can't believe that, man. Like, it keeps happening where I'm making tackles and the second balls just go right back to the other players, for God's sake. Well, no, 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 no. Beautiful play from you. McNeil finds Mape. Oh, Kudus is through, though! For his hat trick! It's got to be a glorious 
this opportunity it was, and that could loom large. Well, that should have put them level. That could be it for them today. I don't believe it. I actually, I can, I can't fathom that. If that just happened. So two minutes of stoppage time like, to be added on. That was the moment, man. Alexander Zinchenko. Yes, Nathan. Good pressure. Can they make? No, Nathan. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? You had the moment whistle, there. For and you the had another count. moment. I can't believe here. that. What did you make of it? Oh, we were well, three I on two. We won the ball so high up the pitch. We should have got something from that game. Arsenal were good, but oh, we had we had a big chance to get something. Look at that, three point nine compared to one point three expected goals. Like they definitely deserved the win. Uh, but like we could have got something there as well. Michael Enko and Patterson, good. Kudus, good. Godfrey, good. Pickford, good. All right. Okay. The loss. It's another loss, unfortunately, guys. Ah, that's heartbreaking stuff, that is. All right, Port Vale FA Cup game. Time to get some uh, some players on the fringes, some game time, and get ourselves through to the next round of the FA Cup. We have to make sure we get through, though. Welch loan offer, okay. No option to buy. Fleetwood Town is fine, but no option to buy. All right, now, let's try sign that backup keeper, because I want to get rid of Begovic. I want to get rid of feckin' Lonergan. I want to get rid of all these shit keepers that we don't need, all right? Andy Larnigan, I'm just going to re release him from his contract, all right? But we don't need him, to be quite perfectly honest. We don't need him. Retiring end of season for Begovic, that's fine. We'll just let him uh, have the rest of his contract here and retire at the end of the season. But let's get another keeper in. Obviously, uh, this guy isn't going to cut it. He's 38 years old. I'm thinking about just releasing his, him from his contract as well, to be honest. Like, what's the point in having him if we're going to sign another keeper? For 55000 Probably not worth it. I'll just let it run out. All right, scattered a couple more goalkeepers there. I don't know if we found the one that we really want yet, but uh, we shall wait and see. In terms of other transfers, I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. João Pedro moved to Atletico Madrid. Jesus Christ, he was a 70 at the start of the season. He's gone up to a 73 already. Ben Breherton Diaz moved. To, uh, they both moved already, so I can't sign either of them now. Connor Gallagher could be a good long-term replacement for... Um... Organa Gay, potentially. Cody Gakpo. He's up to an 84 now, is Cody Gakpo. Wow. That's kind of insane. 84. But I don't know that I really need a winger. Like, in real life, Everton, I feel like, do need a winger. But we've signed Mudrik. And, you know, we have enough there, I feel like, right now. We don't have someone on Cody Gakpo's level of 84, though. We have four wingers. I'd have to sell one, I feel like, you know? I'd eat, and we have Timothy Weah as well. So I have five wingers, actually. I'd need to sell either McNeil or Timothy Weah or Damari Gray, and I don't really want to do that right now, at least. He's only 23. Like, that it could be a massive, massive... Maybe in the summer we'll look at signing, signing Cody Gakpo. Or Harvey Barnes. I really do like Harvey Barnes, but Cody Gakpo, I think, is like... Higher, higher ceiling for sure. Sporting CP have expressed an interest in signing Damari Gray for a fee of 16.5 million. Now, see, this could open the way for Cody Gakpo. Damari Gray for 16.5 million. Like, I'm a fan of Gray, don't get me wrong. But that's a lot of money. If I could nego negotiate a better deal, if I could get, say, 20 million for Damari Gray, I'd 100% be thinking about it now. So let's negotiate and let's see we can get like 20 million for him because if i could get like 20 million for him you know and get cody gakpo in this could be massive let's say 20.5 million oh well there you go they didn't even want to discuss it <laughs> they didn't even want to discuss it jesus okay then round of 64 court lane versus port vale here we go. I can't believe there was that much of a discrepancy with only... That was like 4 million between the two offers. Like, And they just goes, nah, get the fuck out of here for that. <laughs> I mean, that's a little extreme, I think. All right, I'm putting this Allison guy on the bench. This was the guy with the really, really high potential. We're going to put Gordon, Mudrik, Price, Onana, Tarkovsky, Pickford on the rest of the bench. And then we're going to have Begovic, Coleman, Holgate, Welch, Godfrey, Garner, Davies, 
Kudus, McNeil, Maupay, and Timothy Weah. Uh, I don't know about this Welsh thing at, at the center of the mid, but I want to give Michaelenko a rest. He hasn't got a rest all season, and I want, I'm going to play Godfrey left back, and then I was going to play uh, Welsh center back. So this should be an interesting one. This should spice this game up a little bit. All right. All right, come on, boys. Let's just, let's get this. Let's try to get this tie over early. All right. Get a couple early goals and and shake this team to their core. Not let them get anything going at all. Look at that. Some new merch. That was that was what just came. Let's go, boys. My own merch there. I'm going to be putting that live on the store soon, hopefully, if it uh, falls okay with it. And we got knocked out in the Carabao Cup, so I don't want to get knocked out in the FA Cup as well. So I'm going to try to make sure to win this one, boys. Oh, yes. Timothy Way finds Mopé. It's 1-0 already. Within five minutes, Neil Mopé scores again. He's been on fire this season so far. And he continues his hot streak here. He's going to be displacing DCL soon because Donald Calvert Lewin, he started off hot, but he hasn't been scoring too many recently. But Neil Mape does well there. And it's 1 0 to the Toffees early. And that's exactly what we wanted an early goal to settle the nerves. And there you have it. Let's go 2 0 up now. Let's get a bit of a cushion. James Garner. Kudos to Garner. Garner goes for it. Save. All right. Garner does have a hell of a hell of a boot in him. Everton moving the ball forward with Mopé finds Timothy Weah. Can he make it count? Timothy Weah! Oh, I thought that was 2-0. Really close, lad. Close. All right. To get past his man. Oh, great yes, Seamus, lads. Beautiful defending from Seamus. He's going to have to fill in for Everton, Timothy and I'm Weah. sure he's going to do a stand-up job, as he always has done for Everton. Timothy Weah finds... Benjamin Godfrey now going down. Ian's go on, Godfrey. Look at him go. Ben Godfrey. Kudus. Oh, it's the crossbar. Wow. Kudus has got a hell of a shot on him. Not going to lie to you. Oh, well, this is the first time I've got a free kick, like, from this distance. James Garner is surely better at freeze, is he? He's not, actually. But uh, let's try let's try hit one with uh, with James Garner here. Inside foot curled. How does this work now? I don't know. How do the free kicks work, boys? Oh, hit the wall. I'm not sure how the free kicks work because I've never bloody done them. I should probably practice them a little bit in the. Uh... Is there isn't there somewhere you can practice freeze? I'm pretty sure there is. Great interception by Garner. Kudus, Maupé, Maupé out to Godfrey, Godfrey back Maupay. to Maupé, this is good play from Everton here, James Garner, saved. Maupay. Oh, it actually comes through to Kudus somehow, Kudus finds Godfrey. What the fuck was that, Ben? Absolutely, I was passing that, I don't know why it was that hard. What a tackle from Reese Welch. Tackles his own player then, though, as well, unfortunately. <laughs> but unbelievable tackle by him. And a great tackle by Garner there as well. And here we go. Come on, lads. And Kudus finds Timothy Way. Surely this could be it now. Great save by the keeper. Not going to lie to you. Garner! What a save again. This little ginger feck is keeping Port Vale in it here before half time. But let's, let's, let's cut the shit now, right? Played over. Yes! <laughs> Timothy Weah gets it in at the near post there. We scored from a corner. And that was poor goalkeeping. He made quite a few saves. But the onslaught was too much for his ginger little head to handle. McNeil to Timothy Weah. And Timothy Weah at the front post here with a great header. Great little onward header there. But really, I think it's more the defender's fault than the keeper's fault, to be honest. The defender on the line here. Should be clearing. I don't know how it gets through him. What's, what does he do? Oh, it hits his arm and goes in. He's just absolutely stationary. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing, but it's 2-0. And it's going to be 2-0 at half time. Brilliant. Maupay over the top for Timothy Way. Oh, what a goal that would have been. What a goal that would have been, man. All right, let's try and make, a, make another corner kick goal here. All right, I'm going to make a couple subs here. I'm going to bring on a couple of the youngsters. I'm going to bring on Allison. Um, 
You know, he's going to be a starlet. We're going to see that. And I'm going to bring on Isaac Price as well. Even though they're only 51 and 67 rated. I mean, 67 is a lot higher than 51. Um, but I feel like Isaac Price and Reese Welsh can get better pretty quickly. So we'll see uh, how they're doing. Isaac Price and Reese Welsh, both only 19 years old. Allison as well, only 16. Holy shit. Holy shit. 16 years old. He's about to make his debut. What? Is, he's six foot five and he's 16. Six foot five Englishman at 16 years old. I was going to say, is he Norwegian or some shit? Like, what the hell? It's like Erling Holland's brother or something, but no. Here goes Allison. Let's see what he can do. 16 year old starlet. 16. Oh, yeah, he's trying to go all the way with him. <laughs> Oh, what a pass from Mopé. McNeil slips through Allison. Allison. Oh, Allison's just trying to do too much. I'm, I'm trying to do too much with him is the problem. We just need to let the let the play flow. Oh, well, right to away. Garner. And he's broken Here he is. Oh, he and should score his first goal. He should score his first goal. Oh, he fucking overran it. Silly Munta. All right. First goal inside of the post. What a shot that was. He's left footed, obviously. Because that, that just looked way too natural for him to not be left footed. Oh my god. What a tackle, Reese. Reese Welch has been class. He wants that clean sheet, man. Love to see it. What a tackle by Reese Welch. And that's game. 2-0. 2-0 to the, the young Toffees. Beautiful the stuff, lads. Well done. On. Well done. Yes, super. Super Frank. Super. Super Frank. Super. Super Frank. Super Frankie Lampard. Let's go. We give the young guys a chance and they shine for us. Love to see it. Timothy Way with a 9.0 man of the match performance. Incredible from him. Neil Maupay, 8.3. Begovic had a good game. Holgate had a good game. Godfrey had a good game. Coleman had a good game. And uh, you love to see that. You love to see that, son. And we gave the young star guys a chance as well. And uh, we're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Through to the last 32. Wait, who's this? Coleman! No! I thought it was the end of the season you were leaving, man. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye, Seamus. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. And now we need a backup right back, you know. Well, Holgate can play there, I guess, but... I might try and sign, like, a young, promising right back or something for the future. We do have Kyle John, but I'm not sure he's already 23, you know. So let's put a scout on a, on a promising right back. Promising and pacey is what I want for a right back. Because Patterson is promising and pacey. So we want someone like that. In that mold. All right, Aston Villa at home. We're 10 points clear of Villa. Um, we are still ninth after losing to Arsenal and we are still only three points off seventh. So it's not the end of the world. If we could win here against Villa, it would be a massive win that would propel us into the top seven if Wolves and Leicester both lose ahead of us as well, which is a big if, of course. All right, Timothy Way deserves to be on the bench after that game. I'm going to put him on the bench ahead of McNeil. And we have Kudus and Timothy Way and Mape to come off the bench as well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start Mopé. We'll have Dominic Calvert-Lewin coming off the bench. Jonathan David up front for Aston Villa. JW, I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't let Jonathan David score against me, please. All right, boys, let's get it. Villa Park, here we go. Go on, Michael. Let's have him, son. Come on. We need a big win here. We need it. We only have one point in our last three games in the Premier League. So it's vitally important that we get back to winning ways here. We were on a good run, but that run's over now. We can't uh, can't live in the past. Malpe does really well not to lose the ball there, actually. Gordon does well, but the shot was not so hot. No! 
What a save, Jordan. It's a pen away, ref. That was so soft. So soft, ref. Well, no I don't believe you're after giving a penalty for that. Upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. Uh, Jonathan David to score here. Yes, Pickford! Get in there! Have that, Jonathan David! Have that! Get in there, Jordan, you absolute beast! Yes, lads! And Patterson clears too. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Oh my god. Wow, I didn't think that was getting past Ghana. All right, corner ball for Aston Villa. Villa have started the game hot. And I'm a little bit scared, mate. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit twitchy, a little bit nervy. Yes, Gordo. Great pass from Mape. Good build up play here. Gordon finds Mape back to Gordon. And Everton are on the march here. Michael Enko. Michael Enko finds Ghana. Oh, I was just about to pass it to Mape. It was open. That probably would have been 1 0, you know. Great tackle, Cody. Massively important there. They were on, they were on a big break. Another penalty. I'm a moron. That really was my fault, though. That was that was a pathetic tackle. And Jonathan David has another chance against me now. Christ. This to open the scoring here. Can they keep it out? Oh! Jonathan David is shit. Well, the Villa fans can sense a yes. They're creating so many good opportunities now. Yes. <laughs> Jordan well, Pickford is the goat. The I don't even care, man. Jordan Pickford saved two penalties already, and, and that incredible cool. save off the rebound. Well, like that Some rebound save was a thing of absolute well. madness, well. man. I, I can't believe like that. Course. How is it not two 0 Villa? Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Oh, nah, nah. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Are, what is my passing? Oh, lads, this is just pathetic. Oh, what the... Is it my passing? Like, I can't pass it to my, to my own players right now. Beautiful little interchanging play between them, but I keep passing it right into the opposition player then. My passing accuracy has been horrendous this game, man. Can they get in behind them? Yes, Cody. What a save. Jordan Pickford's the greatest player ever. This is probably one of his best performances ever. Like, I'm not even joking. This is probably one of Jordan Pickford's. No, fuck off, Jonathan. Come on, I saved two of your penalties and you're going to do that to me? I knew he was going to score, though. After I called him shit, I was like, I knew he was going to score. <laughs> uh, God's sake. It was coming, though. Villa have been all over me the entire game. I don't know what's going on, but it's just not been good. Oh, was, was it a deflection off Tarkovsky? Was it? Looked like it might have been a little deflection. If it's not a deflection, it's really poor keeping from Pickford, but... I mean, I can't really hate on Pickford. He's literally saved about 20 goals there. And he cuts inside... Brilliant! Brilliant bounce back. 1-1 one, one, right before halftime. On the brink, Alex Awobi. It was really good from Gordon. Really good from Anthony Gordon, I must say. Love to see it, lads. Absolutely love to see it. Yes! Look at this. Gordon does so well. And then a great little dip pass from Mape there. Great pass from Mape and a brilliant finish from Awobi. Get in there, boys. Yes! That's so massive. I mean, Martinez couldn't really see it with his defender in the way, and an instant response there from Awobi, his fourth goal of the season so far. In the Premier League, at least. Right on the brink of halftime, too. Love that. Love that, man. That was brilliant from Onana! Oh my god, this could be a goal of the century here! Oh, what a block. What a block, in fairness. Oh, that would have been so good. The pass to Onani just chests it and dinked it over the top. That would have been absolutely sensational. Like, I can't even explain to you how good that would have been. All right. All good, though.
In quote, it's around the 35 million pounds. Onana finds Mudrik. Looks to be just about right. Let's hope he Onana! Gordon, what a save oh, by well, Martinez! Well, oh my god, play. what a save by Emmy Martinez. I am playing the holding formation, actually. I forgot about that. I am. Uh, but I can't believe Martinez saved that, man. Calvert Lewin somehow slips through! What a save! Martinez needs to needs to be checked, man. He's absolutely messed up in the head. And he's fired over the corner. Cody, what a save! Marti Bradley Martinez is actually been the latch. This is how we, Aston Villa must have felt when Pickford was on fire in the first half there. Because this is a joke now at this point. Calvert Lewin! Oh, come on! This is actually a joke now, though. I can't, I can't fathom this now. Mudrick! Oh! It just, I was Gordon, sorry. It just needed any ounce of power on the header and it would have been in. It was right at Martinez with no power, unfortunately. No. What a save. Oh my god, what a save, Jordan. That is so, so, so big, Jordan. That is so, so, so big, Jordan Pickford. You absolute madman. And deciding to go short with this one. What a save. What a save. Jordan's coming on clutch for us now. Martinez did it for us, and now Jordan's doing it for us. Or Martinez did it for them, rather, and now Jordan's doing it for us. That's 1-1. One, one. Game over. All right. It's another loss win draw video. The win was unfortunately in the cup, though. We haven't won a Premier League game now um, in, in four games. So two draws, two losses. We're not going through the hottest of streaks in the Premier League, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Jordan Pickford was the man of the match. 8.3, Anthony Gordon and Patterson did well and Cody as well. But uh, Pickford was phenomenal in that first half. Absolutely phenomenal. Like the game was pretty even overall, I'd say. He had 5.1 expected. I guess Pickford did make some insane saves in that. 5.1 though. Holy shit. <laughs> We're lucky to get away with a point there. Very, very lucky to get away with a point there. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, it is what it is. Palace up next on a Wednesday. Michaelenko transfer offer for 22 million. Holgate transfer offer for 7.5 million. I'm going to have to say no to both of those guys, unfortunately. Jesus Christ, the offer for Cody Gakpo is massive, man. I'm going to offer to marry Gray in 32.5 million and see what they say. Okay. Well, fuck it. Okay. I think having a player like that, who's in the uh, in the mid 80s, could be really, really beneficial for the team. And we haven't really splashed the cash on a big transfer yet, so I feel like this could be a this could be a big one here. If we get Cody Yakpo in, I'm, obviously we're losing to Mary Gray. I do actually like to Mary Gray. I think he's really quick and pacey, um, but in the final third, he doesn't have that spark or that that magic that you should have at the at the very end. I feel like, but it's, it's only as the very end that lets the Mary Gray down. He's brilliant up until the last part. But, uh, okay, five years and crucial is perfect. His current wage is only goddamn 27,000. Okay, 40, they want 42,000 a week. Okay, sure, we'll accept that. 42,000 a week isn't, isn't breaking the bank anyway. That's pretty low. That's pretty low. All right. It's our first January signing. Cody Gakpo is in. Damari Gray is out. It is what it is. Cody Gakpo arrives, baby, in his in his dapper suit too. Jordan Pickford, welcome him in. Little fist bump from Jordan. Love to see that. Getting up to date with the medicals. Jordan and Ghana, watching him. Love that. Cody Gakpo is our first January signing. Cody Gakpo, love to see it. This is kind of a different one, though, isn't it? <laughs> Usually they do the one with Frank or whatever, but I've never seen this one, so that's cool. All right, Damari Gray and 45 million, a little bit more than I would have wanted to pay, honestly, but uh, we got a C. We could have done better, but player overall is 84, though. There you go. Great first 11. We could have saved 10 million. How? I don't fucking know how we could have saved 10 million there, but it is what it is, baby. We've got a first teamer in there. That's a that's a guy who's going to be starting nigh on every week, so that's massively important. We all want what's best for the club, Jordan. 
We all want what's best for the club. All right. Squad Hub, let's check what number Cody Gakpo is. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know. Uh, I think it was a really good video. I think this was one of my favorite episodes so far. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it too. You know what to do. Drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. We're nearly into the double digits already. This is going to be a banger of a season and a banger of a series. Cheers.